Hello, everyone. My name is Judith Jayasuria, and I'm an instructor and lead of experiential learning at the Asper School of Business. A significant part of my portfolio involves advising teams as they participate in competitions. I'm here today to share some virtual presentation tips and tricks as you prepare for your competition. Here are some of my top suggestions. Number one, move before your presentation. Stand up, walk around, perhaps even do a couple of dumping jacks. This will help you to keep your energy high as you head into your presentation. Number two, stand up to present. You may want to consider standing up to mimic a live presentation environment. This will help you to get yourself into a presentation frame of mind. Number three is to frame yourself. Ensure that your face and that your upper body can be seen on screen. This will allow you to use more nonverbal communication tactics in your presentation, like leaning forward when you want to emphasize a point or using your hands. Number four is eye contact. Train yourself to look at the camera as opposed to the screen to give a stronger illusion of eye contact. A helpful suggestion here would be to place a photo by the camera and speak to the person in the photo. Number five is to position your laptop. Ensure that your laptop is raised to an appropriate level so that you aren't looking down at the laptop. If you are reading a script, you may want to place your laptop or the physical script in a place where it doesn't look like you're reading. Number six, lighting is very important on Zoom. You will need adequate lighting so that you're not in the shadows and so that the judges can see your facial expressions. This will help with nonverbal communication. Number seven is location, location, location. Location is everything in a virtual environment. Ensure that you have a strong internet connection, that all of your devices are working properly and that everything is in order before you present. Number eight is background matters. If you are using a virtual background, be sure that you test it out before your presentation. Alternatively, you may want to consider a neutral background like the one that I have behind me. Finally, this is a professional presentation. So ensure that you put your best self forward and dress to impress. I hope that all of these tips were helpful. Good luck on your presentation.